Hi and welcome everyone. Welcome to Cloud Learner Pro channel. So in this channel today we are going to discuss about virtual machines. If I talk about the agenda of the session, so in this session we are going to learn about what is Hyper-V, what is a virtual machine, how to create a Windows virtual machine in Hyper-V and how we can connect to the Windows virtual machine. The first point of our agenda is what is Hyper-V? What is Hyper-V? Hyper-V is one of the hypervisor software. So we have so many softwares in market which are a Hyper-V softwares like we have Hyper-V, we have uh, VMware, we have OVM, Oracle Virtual Manager. So like this there are so many hypervisor softwares in the market available using which we can run multiple virtual machines on top of a physical server. So here uh, we, I mentioned it as virtual server because this virtual server is already created on top of a physical server which is hosted by Azure. So I'm taking Azure virtual machine here and on top of Azure virtual machine I'm going to create one virtual machine. So this type of concept is called as nested virtualization because it is not a physical server this virtual machine i'm going to use is going to run on top of azure physical servers so on top of azure physical server my virtual machine is going to be hosted and on top of this virtual server i'm going to install hypervisor and i'm going to run what virtual machine so this whole concept is called as nested virtualization now i am in the virtual machine uh, the name of the virtual machine is virtual 01 on top of this virtual machine we are going to install a hypervisor software which is called as hyper-v so now let's try to install a hypervisor software which is hyper-v so for which I'm going to server manager. So if you are running any server operating system, you will be able to see this server manager. So in the server manager, you can go to manage and you can click on add roles and features. Here you are going to install one role. So I'm clicking on next. Next, I'm installing on this server only. So what is the role I'm installing? So I want to install Hyper-V role. So I, I clicked on Hyper-V is asking me to enable add-on features to run the Hyper-V. I'm adding these features. It will take a minute of time uh, to update those add-on features, whatever we uh, asked to add. Now I'm clicking on next and I'm clicking on next. I'm not adding anything else here. I'm clicking on next and I'm clicking on next. I'm not changing anything. I don't want any extra ethernet. So I'm clicking on next. Here, if you want to uh, <clears throat> add on any other options you can enable but for me this and all is not required i'm going with next here next so i'm clicking on install so this installation will take a couple of minutes uh, after which we have to restart the virtual machine and post that we will be able to see this future or role inside the virtual machine so the role name will be hyper v manager See, the installation is completed and it, it is giving me uh, information which says a restart is pending on this virtual machine. You must restart the destination server to finish the installation. So I'm going to restart this particular server. I'm closing this tab. I'm closing this uh, server manager. I'm going to start menu you know, and restart this particular virtual machine. Restart. Uh, see, now my virtual machine is uh, restarted on which I have installed the hypervisor software, which is Hyper-V. If I go to manage and if I, oh, sorry, if I go to tools. Here I will be able to see the role, which is called as Hyper-V manager. So I'm opening the Hyper-V manager. 
and this is how the Hyper-V manager looks like. So in this virtual, I mean, in this Hyper-V manager, we can able to create virtual missions as per it, our requirement. Okay. Now, if I want to create a virtual mission, I will have to come to this Hyper-V manager. I'll click on, I'll right click on this and I'll click on new virtual mission. The virtual mission creation is as simple as it is. So I'll go and click on <clears throat> next. I'll provide a virtual mission name. Next, I'll uh, uh, I'll provide generation, which generation I want, generation one or generation two. Next, I will provide what is the memory size my virtual mission required. One zero two four. I mean one GB of memory. I'll click on next. Here I'll tell okay whether it needs to be connected to any network. So not connected. Next, uh, if you have any uh, ISO image, so you can mount that ISO image here. So maybe after the creation of virtual mission, you can attach it. Or if you have any existing virtual hard disk, you can attach it. Or if you want to create a virtual hard disk, you can create a virtual hard disk. But to run a virtual mission, we need an operating system. Since we don't have any ISO here, uh, I'm just going to select this third option, attach a virtual hard disk later. So I'm going and clicking next and I'm finishing this virtual mission creation process. Now you will be able to see one virtual mission here. See, this is my virtual mission. Now I'm going to connect to my virtual mission and I'm powering on the virtual mission. See, now you'll be able to see the boot pace of the virtual mission. Uh, it will have different, different boot paces and after which it will take me to the Windows logon page. So let's wait for that and monitor this. Um, so here uh, we can see the operating system is in the booting phase. So once the operating system is completely booted up, we will be able to see the Windows log on screen. Let's wait for a couple of minutes and see whether the virtual mission is booting up properly. Uh, see, now we can uh, I see the virtual mission is booted up and we are having a control alt delete screen. If I provide the control alt delete, it will be asking me to enter the username and password. Uh, this is the way of creating a virtual mission in a Hyper-V manager console and you will be able to connect to the virtual mission from the console itself. This is one of the way to connect. I'll also tell you uh, the normal uh, Windows connection process or connection method. Let me provide the password. Now I'm able to log into the virtual machine successfully. It says it's uh, loading my profile. So which is a session manager, which will be loading my profile into the operating system. Now uh, I'm into the virtual machine. My login credentials are authenticated. I'm logging into the virtual machine. Since the virtual machine capacity is, I mean, when I say capacity, CPU or memory resources allocation for this uh, server is very small. So that's why it is taking a lot of time to boot the operating system and give me the console. See, I'm able to log into the console. Let me tell you another way of connecting to a virtual machine. All you need to do is open MSTSC either via run or you can search in start menu MSTSC. Uh, you can open this remote desktop connection and you can provide the virtual mission IP address or hosting. Click on connect. You will be asked to enter the credentials. I'm entering my credentials. Once I provide the right credentials, I'll be telling yes to launch my session. Now it is connecting to the virtual machine. See, this is how you will be able to connect your Windows virtual machines. So uh, in our agenda, I I have completed what is Hyper-V, uh, what is uh, virtual machine, I'll tell you, and how to create a virtual machine and Hyper-V, we just finished, and how to connect to the virtual machines. What is virtual machine? So from this whole lab, we are able to understand virtual machine is a it's not a physical mission. It's a virtually created mission on top of either a virtual server on top of either physical server by using a hypervisor software. It can be VMware, Hyper-V, OVM, etc, etc. 